Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So this is part two to the Jackson's Art Supplies unboxing. It's um, being gifted to me by my partner. Um, I got the first box a few weeks ago and I videoed that. I don't know when I'll be uploading it. Uh, so this is the next box and it's been delayed by Royal Mail strikes and stuff like that. So enough babbling on, I will pause here and open it. Eee, what a job it was getting into that. I mean, it was securely wrapped, which uh, what you want. Oh, and all this nice paper I'll use. Get down there. Just take everything out the box. Ziggy can play with that. Right, let's see what goodies he's got me. I sort of, I know what that one is. And I've wrote my notes down. I just love the uh, paper that they use to wrap the stuff in with the uh, texture on it. So this one is a Molotow Aqua Colour Brush. Uh, it's pink and I am getting into that colour lately and it only cost me £1.25. Well, it didn't cost me, it cost me partner. Um, I think that was in the sales. I did get uh, some more of them in another box. Yeah, so I don't know why I'm just doing that because it's not like you'll be able to see anything. I've got new glasses yesterday but I still need to take them off. Well, new. New lenses in them. Very focals. Um, so this is a water-based, transparent, quick-drying, odourless ink Food based. Food based colourings. Food based. Oh, after doing my research into that. Food based. You wouldn't be able to put that on food. Strange. Yes, yeah, so that's that. Next one. And the reason why I'm opening these now and he's not wrapping them up for Christmas is because I'm not a big fan of Christmas and I'm working it anywhere. So. Oh, look. I didn't know he was ordering me that. Oh, so looking forward to I just thought it was uh, some paper or something he'd ordered me. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, brilliant. I was just looking at them on, uh, it wasn't on Jackson's, it was uh, somewhere else. And you could get like, a, um, you know, like on Amazon where you look at the books and it says you can have a look inside before you buy. And it was like that, I'd just seen some of the designs and things and I thought it was amazing. And I showed him and, oh. I wonder if um, Jackson's do a subscription or something on them. Don't know, I'll have to take a look. There, it's called Custom. It's airbrush and pinstripe, and I don't know what that is. Long brow and custom art. I mean, I've always wanted to try airbrushing, but not like on a, a flat surface, like a skateboard or something. On, um, you know, like fair when you're making art dolls and stuff to bring a bit of um, shading into it. 
got um, glasses off again. Um, but this is an art doll. It's like the day of the dead, a sugar skull. Guitars. Tattoos. Well, I like tattoo art. I haven't got any tattoos myself. I don't like them on my skin. But I do like the art of them. So this is custom spelt with a K and it's April, May 2020. Explore the world of custom art and lifestyle. Oh, I'll just have a quick flick through because I want to be sitting down with a cup out with this. So, oh, look at that. Remember that um, art years ago as kids? It was like in a blow pen. You'd put the, um, it was like a felt tip pen. Put the felt tip pen in a contraption and then you'd stick your gob round it and blow on it and it would splat air paint and stuff. I think that was a bit like airbrushing, wasn't it? I'm not really into cars, but that is absolutely stunning. Oh, wait, I missed something there. Oh, no, it was just a model. Oh, look at the skulls. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I am a bit of a gamer, so I do appreciate them, the designs on them. I've got a, um, what is it? That Pirates, something Pirates. I never liked the game when it came out, uh, but the um, controller is really gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Oh, yes, I'll enjoy um, reading these. Oh, look at them tattoos. I love that owl. I find it hard enough um, sketching on um, paper. Never mind someone's skin. I don't think I'd be able to do that. My hand would be shaking. Oh, look at them. Amazing. And Betty Boop there. Guitars. Oh, look at that. That's really creative, isn't it? We all die. The goal isn't to live forever. The goal is to create something that will. Oh, that's, yeah. I like that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Loving them colours. Stunning. Oh yes, I'll enjoy. Sitting down with a nice copper. Get into this now. Um, oh, get me trusty finger cutter. And he'll be shouting at me because I haven't got my other one within reach. Oh, more of these. But at least they're, uh, these plastic peanuts are actually doing the job this time and holding the thing securely instead of just limply on a box for decoration. Somebody told me that. I never tried it. I mean, it's just easy to try. Somebody told me that some of these, are um, if you put them in water, they shrink in size, like the eco-friendly ones. But, oh, look. Oh, well, all you do there is just squish it and it shrinks in size. I wonder if it uh, goes back to its natural form. Oh, that's an experiment for me. You go over there. Right, so I won't bother getting them all out. Oh, there. It's pretty uh, bland. I'll go in a bit more. 
Um, so these, um, I did tell him I was interested in these. <laughs> Uh, these are colour craft brush or colours and that's black. Oh well I'll get them all out so I can show you the colours. Um now I wrote my notes down to see what the brush or was. So I'll just have a peek now. Um brush or it's a water based paint powder. You can use it wet on wet, sprinkling and spritzing. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I just love watercolours. So I just seen this on a um, YouTube tutorial. This lady was using it and it was just amazing and the texture on it. And I just thought, oh, I'll have to try them out. Um, and what she did was, um, you know those pins that you put in a board? She just pushed it in here a few times. So it was like a pepper pot. So she could just go like that for easy access and I'm glad I watched that because I would have probably just whipped the top off and made a mess and wasted half of it. Um, so that's uh, Ultramarine, is there any more details? <clears throat> 15 grams, Caution Small Parts, Colourcraft LTD, um, contains organic pigments, on propriety, crystalline carrier, refer to SDS for further information. Yeah, so that is ultramarine, olive green, dark brown, black. Yellow ochre. The reason why I ordered the black, I know I like loads of colour, but um, the black, when it was um, poured down and wet and wet, the pigment broke apart and you could see um, bits of uh, brown and blue, what they've used to make the black, so it wasn't just like a boring full black. And the brown as well, it had yellow and reds and all sorts in it. And just imagine if you were painting a um, fall or autumn leaf and the texture you could create just using that brown. I was just in awe when I seen them. Yellow ochre. I don't know how long these uh, powder paints have been out for, probably ages, and I've like been under a rock or something. Yellow. Ost red. Oh, I, don't, I can't remember. I don't know what ost means. Sea green. Oh, that was just a beautiful colour. Moss green. I love me greens. And violet. Look at my nails. Tut tut. Yes, so that is me Christmas goodies. And I will put them to good use. And thank you, Andrew. I do appreciate it. So, I hope you've enjoyed me little unboxing. And you might have watched part one. Um, so, I will go now. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.